built a house but not just any house an affordable one in Kingston Jamaica this house was built from a 20-foot shipping container and it has all the amenities of a regular house nice not sure the process was very challenging but very fun at the same time and I figured I'd share it with you so that you know what to expect if you're building a house in Jamaica too I'll be bringing a new video every Sunday showcasing the journey so grab your friends grab your family grab your popcorn yeah. and come along remember to like comment share subscribe follow me at Rochelin on all my social media platforms and let's get into today's video let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go so the journey continues with the build out of my container home i see a comment asking for longer videos so here it goes it's my birthday gift to you my birthday is on august 3rd today is july 31st you know it's my birthday to you and from you i'd love for you to subscribe well, we're heading up to 100 000 subscribers so let's go oh my god we're four episodes done and we're now on to episode five in episode four you guys got to see the build out of the bathroom so now let's head to the kitchen you guys remember in episode two where we spoke about how and where i purchased a cabinet and also the countertop for the kitchen if you haven't checked it out go and check it out right now episode two the link is in the description below so today we are installing i actually went back to the same location and got more cabinets at first we got the bottom now we get the top and you know the whole work so it's a full-on kitchen and now my workman ready is here to install it I have a big up ready every time because he's been so helpful and so integral throughout this process he's been so reliable and I definitely recommend him for future jobs you know when I get a good workman I have to big them up because you know how it is to find a good one right so big up you every time ready I am ready art Samuels these kitchen cabinets were installed using screws bolts and a very 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 strong silicone adhesive the total width of the cabinet is 5 feet which the sink area takes up just about 19 to 20 inches of it It's the next day and Ruddy is back to mount the TV on the wall. When I tell you the container home is short of nothing, believe me. It has everything that you would have in a regular home, just on a smaller scale. Here's a peek of the progress in the kitchen. The cabinets and the counter is installed, the shelves are installed, an 18 inch stove top is placed on the counter leaving enough space for sink and usable counter space for cooking. If you look to the left you'll see a washing machine that I had temporarily put there to see if I would want it in the space. 
I later decided to remove it from the inside of the container and build a mini shed to the side for laundry and free up the inside of the house since it's already a small space. Now that the kitchen cabinets are installed, Peter is back to do the plumbing. What are you doing today? Tell me what you're doing today. Assemble and installing. Assemble and install what? Connecting this kitchen sink. Yeah, how is that going? It's going okay. Alright. So water in there already? No, not yet. I'm about to. So the sink was just installed, but I forgot to get some of the clips. Oh, I didn't forget. They just didn't give me the clips for it to hold down the sink. So I had to get something heavy to hold it down in place so that the silicone can dry under the sink. So that's what's happening there. So very soon those blocks will be removed and all these things. And then we'll have sinks so we can wash dishes. So we get in there. The plumbing is connected, the sink is working, I can wash dishes, wash pots, the whole works. The kitchen is working now, so it's time to add the finishing touches. A kitchen is not complete without dishes, right? And I know I'll need a place to drain the dishes and store the dishes. It's a tiny kitchen, so of course I have to be smart about the spacing, right? So after doing some research, I found the sink dish drainer that serves two purposes, to store the dishes and to drain the dishes which is perfect for what i want i checked out a few hardware stores and the darn thing was ten thousand jamaican dollars and twelve thousand jamaican dollars for the different sizes and i don't know but i personally find that ridiculous to spend twelve thousand dollars on a dish drainer that just, uh, i just couldn't i couldn't i just couldn't do it i then took the shop in downtown kingston to the wholesale where i got it for <laughs> thousand three hundred dollars half the price i know right <laughs> i got it and i was so excited to come home and install it even granolin was excited excitement soon turned to disappointment as I soon realized that I had gotten the wrong size yeah the one I got was way too big for the counter space it's for a double sink and as you know I have a single sink so now I'm left to try and return it and to buy a completely different one comment below if you've ever shopped downtown before what has your experience been like you know in Jamaica we don't have that culture of returning and exchanging things but now I'm gonna have to try and return it or exchange it so let me know if you think that I'll be successful in exchanging it comment below on the putty knife here yeah? tell me what's your name Rodiard Samuels no, say, say I, am. I, I am Rodiard Samuels what do you do? a lot of things <laughs> what I call it now? What I call it something, but then call it now. What's up, man? Jack of all trade. Yeah. I'm master, master of none. Of none. <laughs> <laughs> no, my name. Pass that for me, then, mum. The, the potty knife out there, so. You're master of things, and I have to. Well, it depends on the customer. Okay. They give me the credit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this is Ruddy. He's a character, right? So right now Roddy is putting a microwave on the shelves for me but what had happened is here's a story time <laughs> prior to the installation of the shelves Roddy had asked me for the dimensions of the microwave so that he could accurately install the shelves right I had given him the incorrect dimension so of course the shelves weren't in the right place and the microwave could not fit properly it was about two inches too short <laughs> 
But you know, it was my bad, my mistake. Own up to it, you know, we all make mistakes. But Roddy was so graceful in changing them out for me. So you don't know me if you big up Roddy every time because it wasn't easy to take them back down and put it back up and you know the whole work. So big up Roddy. So you just finished putting up the shelf so that we can transfer the microwave from over there. Over there. Oh God. I got me. I measured it while I was driving, okay? You what? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I didn't take into consideration the, the feet under it. Oh. So it was 10 inches from the top. Yes, the door, here. The door, yeah. Okay. So okay. we had to move it. Okay. But guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend Brody. He's, the, he's such a good all-rounder. Because all around that every little thing every little thing you want um we'll leave him contact details in the description below so if you need any little thing done and him put up all of this all the cabinet the countertop the microwave the tv everything <laughs> now man the man, fun, the fun. Oh, rate so him, you know it, it's a, a lot of times well I'm on the move a lot of times it's difficult to find good workmen. So you know when you find them, you have to big them up because they go on good. I mean, I appreciate it. Me yes, you are. You know, you're six to nine. That's true. <laughs> no, I have to give on to Caesars. What's due to Caesar? You're going yeah. good. Come have some when you go on good. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So it's the next day and we are still in the kitchen. Alright, so the kitchen rack, as I mentioned before. Um uh -oh. this is this so here in Jamaica I've seen two sizes, one for a double sink and one for the single sink and and actually crazy story i had gone ahead and bought the one for the double sink without double checking at first and then when i attempted to set it up that's when i realized that you know it's too big so i had to return it or i had to take it back to the store and get it exchanged fun fact as i said i bought this downtown in a wholesale right and I didn't know if they were going to exchange it, but they did. And I learned something new today that they actually exchanged in the wholesale. So I don't know that. So this is a smaller one. It doesn't have a size, like the size thing on the box. So I'm hoping that it works. Because this is an 18 inch sink. So 
and hope it actually work with no issues. So, taking out everything. And like a woman, I'm gonna read the manual. I know men don't like to read manuals, but I'm going to get an idea of how to do it, huh? It's not a lot of counter space, so I have to be very smart about the spacing. There we go. So you can see the general size. It's a little bit wider than the 18. The thing stops here and it's here, but this works. Look back at the manual real quickly. So that goes there. Then
right so there we have it it's all set up so you know it's time for us to now pack it up so that we can see what it looks like huh so let's do that usually you would put it's after you wash the things and you're putting them to drain <laughs> that you'd put them here but because as I said it's a small kitchen I would have a lot of storage space some of the stuff are gonna actually be stored here so I'm gonna be putting them on okay, so you know like a little fart thing there we go we're cooking with hey Mama. No, next one. You must have the deep one you're going to use to the plate then. Oh, the cup can go side by side. I'm going to put the cup so there is space for the cup. And I may have some glass cups. You rest them there. And of course, as I mentioned, you put the, the cutting board to the side. And if you have two, feel free to put them both. You know, it works. I have also gone ahead and bought on Amazon this cup holder. Um, it's really meant to hold the cups in the cupboard but it can be put anywhere I'm gonna see if it can go on this thing um, I leave it also linked in the description bar below if you want to have it for your household so it can work just about anywhere really So you see the bottom of your cupboard, for example, you want to put some cups, you can, it looks like this, you slide it under, you know, and there are some screws to secure it, some suction cups to secure it, and you can secure it on the inside, and then you can go ahead and hang your tea cups. So if you don't want to put them in here, there's room to hang them. You know, and you just pack it as you go. You understand? Making sense? I mean, it don't have to only be teacups in it. You could literally take it and use it in a space to hang your keys. Or you can use it just to hang any little thing that you'd need something to hang. But in this case, because we're going to be using here for the plates, I'm going to be using this to hang the teacups and leave all of here for plates. You understand? I'm going to have to be smart about the spacing. And the power door can close with that, with that before. So Granilin just asked me if the cupboard door can close. And because it's not yet secured, I'm going to secure it shortly. That's but fine yes it can be closed no problem you know and you can put it on any shelf anywhere on a drawer as long as there's a place you secure it in and you, yeah they put them hung up right there so understand makes sense don't it all right so i'll leave it in the description bar below you click you can just i'll put cup holder or something like that and you click it and then you use that link to purchase purchase it okay So there's also this section to put in the spoons and knives and forks and cutlers. Of course you have of course you have a drawer or something that you put all of them, but you know the ones that you wash, the ones that you're using right now. You can just, you know, drop it like that. <laughs> you know, a spoon or two or three or four. So the spoon and the fork and the, all of that is there. So I'm gonna go ahead now and secure this in place so that the teacups can go 
right alongside it. Alright. So another piece of gadget that I bought for the kitchen is this thing right here. So this is like a towel holder or hand paper towel holder, whatever you want to use it for. So I'll be using it to hold the kitchen towels. So how it works is that it has this metal handle thing at the back where it clamps to the door or any surface that's kind of like a door so you put it this is a cupboard door the top of the cupboard door so you just put it on right here makes it very convenient you can close the door no problem and then you go ahead and you put your kitchen towel down or through it well, one there and you can put more than one you know so you have your two kitchen towels there you can use it at any door if you have a stove oven door you can use it there as well but for this kitchen i'm gonna be putting it over And that's what it's looking like right now. So you see it's on any door. The door can open with ease, no issues. It can open, it can close. And you have a place to put it right there, no problem. Suppose I wanted to put it like on this dish drainer. I could probably do so, let's try. Let's try. Look at that. You can clip it on to anywhere. I mean, it doesn't really make sense for it to go here because it's blocking the pipe. But you get the point. It can clip to just about any surface, anywhere that's most convenient for you. And right now, it's most convenient on this door. Oopsie. And so that's what the dish drainer is looking like right now over the sink. And that's what the towel rack is looking like so in here you would put the sponges with the soap and whatever else that you use to wash the dishes and as you can see I have these stacked right here I have cups and I have bowls behind I have a small saucer and of course two cutting boards because who needs one <laughs> and still leave some room on the counter space and this is a four burner cooktop so the progress Anyways, family, and you asked for a longer video, there you go. This is where we're gonna close it off for today. So come back next week, Sunday, for episode six. Comment below and let me know how you've been enjoying this series so far. Are you inspired? I really appreciate the support. Thank you so, 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 so much. My birthday is in three days, as I stated before. It's on August 3rd. Today is July 31st. And for my birthday present, I'd love for each of you to share this video and my channel with 
10 people and make sure that you encourage them to press the subscribe button the more people we have in the family and community the better so share it with 10 people and tell them to subscribe that's all i'm asking of you all right <laughs> anyways have a great week have a great weekend stay tuned for the video that i'll be posting during the week and then the continuation of the series next sunday I love y'all. Thank you again. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Rushing, rushing, rushing with the vlogging. Rushing, rushing, rushing. A good thing, thing, DIY thing. Traveling, exploring, touring. I look at your thing, I look at teaching. I'll be a fun thing. Cause she's not boring. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video, member says she not hype. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video, member says she not hype. Hey, mm -hmm. it's Rushlin. Mm -hmm. Remember to like, mm -hmm. comment, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause she not boring.